Hey YouTube, this is gonna be a bonus episode. Um, I'm on my way to do a or to uh, do an article about a speech, and the only place that's giving a speech is a church. Yeah. So I'm going to have lots of fun there. Uh, this is gonna clarify my last video. Um, it's more so gonna focus on the fact that politicians tend to exist in uh, the past. Now, I'm not trying to be an ageist, okay, but uh, a lot of these politicians throughout the world, in North America, Europe, and the Middle East, Asia, they tend to be out of touch with their current uh, social youth structure, okay? The people who are actually going to run the country in just a few short years, okay? Uh, take, in, for instance, America, okay? We just had our first African-American president, okay? Socially... People probably would have said an African American president back in maybe even the early nineties, maybe mid nineties, okay, uh, maybe even as far as the eighties, all right. Um, but the politics is just now recently got around to having an African American president. Now there were people who uh, did apply, but they weren't really qualified. I'm sorry, but Reverend Jesse Jackson <laughs> would not make a good president. Um, yeah, and so, you yeah, know, there's, there's numerous others. So, I mean, it, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Uh, you know, um, but the politics that, uh, that exists now, okay, these people, they grew up, they, they were born in the 1950s, 1960s, and even before that, some, some of them, and so, some of the ones who are even younger tend to have the same viewpoints as the, uh, older politicians. Now, um, Take, for instance, once again, American politics. Uh, you have majority of the uh, American politicians are Christian, okay? Yeah, we try to be in a multicultural society, okay? You probably would not see a Buddhist uh, running for president. Uh, Barack Obama, they were trying to say all over the board that he was Muslim, okay, which is wrong. Several accounts. Uh, for one, you know, they're, you can look at they're trying not to get the African American the president. Two, uh, the fact that the American public would actually make a big deal about having a Muslim president. Uh, we, I mean, you know, just having one Muslim president is not going to, you know, Sharia law is not going to come into effect, okay? But, uh, you know, and then you'll never, probably never see a Hindu president, at least for, you know, you won't see these happen for probably a good couple of decades. And it's really sad. You, won't, you probably would never see an atheist, not, not, not for a good 20 years. Uh, try to run for president, and it's really sad because, you know, in my generation, we are, you know, the, the social structure of my generation is completely different than the social structure that they grew up in. Uh, you also take Iran, for instance. I mean, the Ayatollah, man, he is out of touch with his youth like it's, like it's nothing, okay? The, the youth in Iran are completely different. A lot of people will get a wrong assumption if they assume that the youth of Iran thinks like the Ayatollah. And things like President Ahmadinejad or whatever his name is. Okay, I can't pronounce it. I'll just call him Aji. Okay, like President Aji. All right. And then they, they, they don't. They really, they truly don't. Um, matter of fact, you probably have a hard time distinguishing between Iranian American and American. A very hard time, actually. Uh, it's not until they speak and have an accent if they're immigrants, or if they if they came from a family and they were born here, then you won't then good luck with that. Unless they are really strict Muslims, but uh, to be honest with you, even their form of Islam in most sectors isn't really all that strict. Now, uh, back to the politicians. Uh, these same politicians, they want to regulate the internet. Okay, uh, the Amazing Atheist did a video on this. All right, and uh, they want to regulate. And he, he mentioned that they want to regulate something that when they come into a room, they just so much look at fear they get confused. It's, it's, it's kind of true. Okay, these people have no idea how the world works anymore and yet they want to try to regulate the one thing that uh, the world is now centered around and that's the internet okay uh i do think that it benefits society in most societies at least 50 percent of the uh politicians were of a younger age group like you know say 30 or you know even late 20s okay you know you get them in there as senators and, and make it multi you know diverse have the hindu have a Buddhists have an atheist in there, have African Americans, have Mexican Americans, you know, I mean, and they do make strides in race, but they don't really make strides in cultural differences or uh, religious uh, differences or religious opinions, 
But um, like for instance, there was one time when uh, there was a, a Hindu uh, guru, I believe. He came to speak at the House of Representatives, I believe is what it was. Um, and uh, I'll try to find a link for you on YouTube, so it'll be down there. Look for it. Uh, but, uh, he tried to speak, and the moment he tried to speak, uh, speak, two people stood up and started quoting Bible verses at him. Didn't even give him a chance to speak. Now, that in itself just shows you how far along the young youth like me would have listened. We wouldn't have cared. Okay, yeah, okay, you know, regardless of whether we believe what he was saying or not. But, you know, it just shows you how far politicians are from, uh, the mainstream society. The young group, the youth group, which is going to inevitably rule your country. Okay? Um, the same thing is with, uh, you know, any country. You know, in, in Europe, they have uh, backwards, or, you know, some of their politicians are old and stuff like that. Now, um, the problem with older politicians, they do tend to cause reverse racism. Uh, this, this is a problem in the fact that they do tend to, uh, Still believe that we live in, you know, in the 1960s and stuff like that, because you know that's there they're born in. Uh, I have no problem with like you know things like affirmative action stuff like that. They take it to a level that some take it to a level, and even teachers will take it to a level that just uh, the only way it can be described is discrimination against white people. That's the only way. And even African Americans, many African Americans uh, will actually speak out against it. Uh, there's a uh, couple African Americans in my, in my class that spoke out against one of my teachers it was a while a while back about a certain topic that they, they, they were saying that they wanted they have two PA spots open and one they were going to make for certain was not going to be white. Well even the, this African American woman got up and said, Well I want it to be somebody who's qualified. Because okay, giving a job to somebody based upon their race is racism. It is. Uh, whether you're, it's you only look at it as racism against white people or racism against black people, like oh here, well we had to favor you in order to get for you to get here, and that's not true. They have uh, several PAs that are uh, African American, and it just shows you that you know some of the the older generation they're kind of out of touch, and it's something that uh, really need we as a youth really need to bring this up to. Uh, our politicians who, you know, tend to be in their, you know, 60s or so whatever. The Amazing Atheist had uh, another, uh, I don't know, uh, philosophy in dealing with this, and that was kill everybody that's over 60. He was joking, of course. Uh, I do not, of course, hold up to that, you know. But it was, it was, it was funny, you know, because, I mean, they do. They tend to get on our nerves. And, but, you know, it's up to us to just make sure that they, you know, know how we feel. But anyway, that's all I have to say, because this is going to go over 10 minutes. So, bye.